this is this is right funny. 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 Look at him running around after the ball like a little Bobby Moore. I know, we're gonna have to get some of those new boots for Christmas, like the ones Ronaldo wears. The coach reckons his game will really improve then. Oh, special boots just to play football. I don't know, it was a lot different when me and his dad used to play in the park. We didn't need special equipment. We used to put down jumpers for goalposts. Oh yeah, jumpers for goalposts. Exactly, and an old stick for the halfway line, and that was good enough for us. The game they play now, I, I don't even know what they call it. But me and your husband, we used to play it properly. The simple, old-fashioned way. Jumpers. Jumpers for goalposts, you said. Yeah. And a folded bus timetable for a shin pad. Proper football, that was. A folded bus timetable? Aye, and one team would have to go tops off so you knew which side were which. Right, one side with tops off and the other side with their tops And the off. other side also with tops off and with team colours etched into their skin with a compass and broken biro. Sorry, what was it that you were playing? Football, proper football. Football with a capital F when there weren't referees to tell you what was in or out and you just had to decide in a sportsman-like way and by the iron rule of combat. What rules were you playing by? Rules? We never had rules. And we never used to have one of them flashy balls you see now from your sports direct and your maplins. Maplins didn't No, we used to make do with a poorly preserved severed head of a defeated team member. Sorry, what? Oh, sorry. Is that against these modern rules, all the flashy manicured footballers have these days? No, it's just against normal human ethics. Ethics? We never had ethics when me and your little lad's dad used to play football. We just had our passion, our spirit, our animal aggression, our iron will to win and total cold disregard for even the most minimum standards of moral behaviour. Football. Proper football. We are capital F. I'm not sticking around to listen to this. All I can say is I'm glad you and Richard don't play football together anymore. All right, Dad, how you doing? Healing up okay? Yeah, I reckon I'm on the men's, son. Shouldn't be too long before this ankle's back to full strength. Thank God for that. The fiver side's gone really downhill without you. I can't wait to have you back on the team so we can start winning again. Football with, with a, a capital, capital F. F. This is rather funny. 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 I used to have an unhealthy obsession with plumbing parts, but after years of therapy, I finally got it out of my system. <laughs> In Pierre, their Lord Nelson. Ah, bien sûr, Jacques. It is Nelson, all right. Finally, we have tracked him down. And now he will meet his doom. For victory, for La France, for Napoleon. Well, let's get him. Wait, my friend. What is he doing? I think he is baking. Looks like a cake to me. Hard to tell with the English. Could be a roast dinner. No. I think you are right. It is a kick. D'accord. Let's go. Attendez, my friend. What? Why? Remember the words of our dear leader. Uh, oui. Some of them. Never interrupt your enemy when he is... Making a a big big kick. kick. (laughs) Of course. Remind me, Pierre, why do we not interrupt the enemy when he is making a big kick? I do not question Napoleon Jacques. I just follow his wisdom. But I suppose it is because uh, assassinations can be hard work. Ah, yes, it can make you very angry. So if we do not interrupt our enemy when he is making a big kick... Uh, Then we can kill him and then have some nice cake to eat. Yeah. Oh, but Pierre, did we really come all this way just for that terrible pun on Napoleon quote that hardly anybody remembers? Not just that, Jacques. We also get to do these accents terribles. Time well spent, then. 
This is Prime. Hippos can run faster than humans on land and swim faster than humans in water, which means the bicycle is your only chance of beating a hippo in a triathlon. This is right for me. So the guidebook says that this is one of the supposed locations of a garden village. The rulers of Britain built them back in the 21st century. Ah, One of the wonders of the world. Which site is this? The Hanging Garden Village of Clacton? The hanging's too good for them. Garden Villages of Lincolnshire. Mm, The old Brexit names are so quaint. The builders of England did this amazing trick where the houses looked like a row of terraces. But on certain days, the sun would shine through tiny gaps showing that they were, in fact, detached houses. Wow. So the people were able to pay the full price of a detached house. With all the convenience of being able to hear everything their neighbours were doing. Did the garden villagers have beautiful gardens? Oh, no. It just reminded them of the beautiful green fields that they covered in concrete and meant they'd pay more to live there. So no gardens at all? All archaeologists have been able to find is a parish trampoline and a rusty swing ball. But there's no evidence that the garden villages ever really existed. I think the builders of Old England were so in tune with nature that their houses wore away to dust within five to ten years. Or maybe they were never built. Some people think that the rulers of England kept promising to build their housing, but never did. Well, that would explain what made the gods angry enough to flood Britain back in 2019. What I don't understand is why the people of Britain didn't just get into boats and go to France. Maybe it was the thought of becoming a swarm of migrants after all they'd said. They probably thought it was just less embarrassing to drown. Such quaint British values. Right, shall we sail back to Transylvania? This is right funny. funny. There are many, that's what they are. Dirty, smelly, thundering about the place. You'll not catch me on a train. No, a horse is good enough for me. London has always been six days away and it should remain so. I remind you that the station has been open for three years now. Do we have to start every single council meeting with your diatribe? Well, perhaps we could just include a note in the minutes of each time. The chair registered its strong disapproval to the Eastern Railway. But it isn't just the railway, is it? We once set our own time using our own church clock. But yet here we are, taking orders from London. It's seven minutes different. But why should we change? If they want standardised time, they should standardise to us. What's next? The end of the imperial system? Oh, that's a bit far-fetched. We tried it your way, didn't we? With one time in town and one time at the station. And what happened? It were fine. People missed their trains and people coming the other way were early for their appointments in town. Leading to significant embarrassment. While that may be all as you say, it was very much the thin end of the wedge, was it not? For what is this ordinance we have received this very day from London? Let me see... Instructions pertaining to the standardisation of space. No. Yes. First Greenwich Mean Time, now Greenwich Mean Space. How on earth did they propose that might work? How on earth indeed. Your town space has been surveyed and found to be upside down. I think they will find it is they who are upside down and we who are the correct way up. Your town space is at various times firm or squashy and it has been known to lurch hundreds of feet to the west. Well, it's always been that way. That's normal for around here. They say they need us to stabilise our town space to one location to avoid causing damage to their railway lines and to spare the expense of demolishing and rebuilding the station every fortnight. And the squishiness? Standardised. They say choose one, preferably firm. Preferably firm? What about the women and children? Their feeble limbs need the comfort of a squishy town from time to time. Yes, but what can we do? Well, we can take back control. We can cut them off. What do you mean? Just leave. Leave England. Finally, assert our independence. They need us more than we need them. They'll offer us a deal. And if they don't... We'll pretend it's what we wanted all along. And we'll change the clocks back to our time. All right, then. Meeting adjourned. May I offer you gents... An ale in the tavern. Capital idea. Better take our boots. It's a bit squishy out. This is right. 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 Right.
yesterday? Yes. I suppose I, I, I would say that, that that would be my fault um, if, if I had one. Uh, yes, yes, just just too perfectionist. I mean, not too perfectionist. I'm, I'm very careful to make sure I don't become too perfectionist. If anything, too... I mean, uh, well, no, uh, yes, uh, I, I would... No, I, I would say that, that, that though, that... Um, that probably that's what people have said about me in the past. That uh, I'm I'm just too uh, good good at my job, uh, at doing my, d- doing my job. That I'm too good at doing my job, and uh, that they sh- uh, I, I should probably slow down. I think that's what they. But but I won't. I mean, I won't do that. If um yes no uh, yeah no no yes do 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 go on to the next uh, uh, by all means uh, yeah. Uh, hobbies. Ah, uh, well, um, uh, funny, funny you should ask because I've, uh, I, 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 I've recently taken to a, um, uh, a painting, uh, a sort of, uh, a sort of. Well, what I do is, um, I take, uh, I, I, what, what I think I do, I, I, I try to take wine boxes. Yeah. Oh, I'm oh, not, not interested in painting. Oh, oh particularly any, any form of public transport funny you should uh, you, you saw that coming um well no no no, no of course that it's not that's not my that's just a s- s- sort of a side um not my main hobby at all uh yes uh, so uh, what i what i do what 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 i do do i uh i collect things yes no yes i have uh I have quite a collection of rare photos Yes, I do. I do. I, I mean, I don't normally get asked. I think uh, I think I have one or two uh, uh, photos on, uh, on on my um, mobile telephone. I can uh, let, let let me just uh, right. Okay. Uh, oh, oh, yeah, one or two videos as well. Nine or ten. Twelve. Oh, Thirty. Thirty. Oh. Okay, yes. There we go. Uh, well, let's, uh, so let's have a look. Yes. Yes, you're right. That is uh, that is quite a lot for just one room. Uh, it is a basement though, so you so I can cram them in. And it, you can see there in the corner, s- scale. Oh no, they're all all life size. Yeah, yeah, they're as close to as. Yes, no, e- even that one. I, I've no, I've been absolutely assured that it's based on a real example of space. Yeah, I suppose. I mean, uh, yes, my 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 wife isn't keen. <laughs> I'll be honest, I just stick them anywhere there's a whole spare, which drives her to absolute distraction. But vibrating? Yes, no, some of them are. They're, they're motion activated, so they just uh, they just respond. To... Not not all battery operated, no. So some older ones are, are purely manual. Uh, and of a Victorian one, you can plug into the mains. <laughs> exactly. No, I wouldn't I, have thought I... it was safe either, and yet they did invent the London sewer system, so what do I know? <laughs> uh no, for hygiene I normally just use hand sanitizer and, and the odd spritz of Febreze. And that's more for odour. Yeah, well, yes, it's with all the human contact. No, ex- no, not just me. Exactly, no, yes, I, I do lend them out. It pains me to see them, uh, another pair of hands all over them, but it, it would be such a waste to... Exactly, yes, to share is to care, and, and one can't be too greedy when uh, trying to stretch... No, no, right. Yes, yes, I am. I'm happy to move on with the interview. I've probably embarrassed myself horribly now with <laughs> spending half the ruddy interview on my silly collection. No, 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 don't spare any blushes on my account. I, I can see you all gone shy. And y- yes, you're right. Sorry. <laughs> move on. Uh, oh, uh, oh, yeah. Any questions from me? Um, wh- uh, well, I suppose I hadn't looked too much into it, so I've been wondering what, what's the nature of the work you do do here at uh, Anne Summers. I'm sorry, you said you 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 make. Oh. Oh. And they for for people to do, to to do what? Oh, oh no, no no that 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 won't do at all. No, I oh I really can't. Oh no. No, I'm afraid that no, that's the that's the limit. I, I'm not staying here to listen to this sort of filth. I'm a man of my reputation, and to think I was going to lend you items from my priceless collection of Tiny Tears dolls. Goodbye. <laughs> um, yes, uh, just me again. Sorry. Uh, I I think I forgot my little Sally Ann there. She. 
Is it? Yes, just the... Yeah, th yes, thank you. Uh, right. Uh, yeah, as you were. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. This is right for me. My mother always used to say, make sure you rinse your food before eating it. Great mother. Terrible sandwiches. I'm sorry, dear. I just don't see the point of it. Can't we just book a hotel? Oh, don't be silly, Bernard. You always say this. Besides, look at this this one here. Yes, it's a field, Mabel. They're all fields. They're always fields. Darling, if I wanted to sleep in a tent in a field, I wouldn't have got this crippling mortgage. If you didn't want to go camping, why did you buy the tent? Hmm? It was an offer. 60% off retail. So is it just a garden tent? Or one for the shed? You know I've wanted to go camping for years, just like we used to when we were courting. Look, there's a brewery near this one. Oh, really? Well, maybe... No, dear, I don't want to go. It'll be cold and wet and I don't want to see random people in their sleeping clothes. The last time we tried this, there was a chap in the shower block who took two cans of beer into the cubicle with him and he was barefoot. I ask you, who goes into a public loo with nothing on their feet? Animals. Well, it's booked now. Why don't we get you a set of blinkers so you don't accidentally see something untoward? And I promise that you can keep your shoes on the entire time. Oh, if you insist. But you're loading the moped. This is right funny. Right funny. funny. OK. So I'm going to castle. Sorry, what? You're going to... Whoa, you can't do that. No, I, I, I can. I haven't moved that rug or my king yet. What? No, mate. You just moved two pieces at once. I'm not a chess expert, but I know we take it in turns to move one piece at a time. Yeah, no, but this is castling. You can, if you haven't moved them, you can sort of... Oh, right, yeah. And if I haven't moved my queen for three goes, I'm allowed to just throw her at your bits to see how many she can knock over, yeah? And, and if I if I hold my breath and cross my fingers for 30 seconds, I'm allowed to use my action man to kick over your sodding king. No, mate. Move it back. Uh, it's in the rules. Don't think so. No, honestly. Seriously, mate. I've cut you enough slack already. Like when you jumped your horse all over the top of my little blokes? That's how they move. In a zigzag, amid sodding air, when was the last time you saw a horse flying? Steeplechase? Like jumping fences? In a zigzag? In the bloody sky? <laughs> exactly. Case proved. Game, set and match. Now put the sodding king back. Uh, Alright. Alright. I'll just move the castle on its own. What the hell? What are you doing now? Castles can't move. It's not a real castle. It's symbolic. It just represents. Yeah? Represents what? Well, a castle. Yeah, better leave it where it is then, eh? All right, I'll just move the bishop here. Right, and I'll just move these. Well, you can't just move all my pawns. They're my pieces. They're overthrowing the aristocracy. The monarch will be next in the firing line. We might allow your queen to escape into exile. That's not... None of that is how you play chess. Anyway, why don't you just have a revolution with your own pieces? We already accepted the new arrangement for a constitutional monarchy in turn two when I moved that little one just one bit forward. He was delivering an ultimatum to the Conservative clergy and they saw the writing on the wall and accepted the need for reform. Since then we've been sponsoring dissidents and funding agitation on the white side. That's not how you play chess. You can't do that. That's just not what the pieces do. What? They don't represent the aristocratic cavalry class, the economically and politically powerful church and the landed power of Castellonian barons and feudal lords all ruling over a weak but pliable underclass with minimal martial strength to press its own will except en masse. Oh. Uh. Well. Maybe. Good. That's settled then. Your move. Let's see you get out of this. Wait. How long have you had your fingers crossed? Constitutional monarchical state meets action man! Hi-ya! 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 Right Funny was performed by Dave McClelland, Joy Wright, Andrew Tilders, Sheila House, 
It was written by Danny Antrobus, Ed Crawley, Neville Raper, Bob Hibbert, and Sweeney Dotson. It was produced by the Mechanical Pig.